Hey, buddy. Oh, he bites. This one wants to bite me. Look at that. You come here. Yes, yes, you are. You're good. What's going on guys, AJ here from Colorado Fisher and in today's episode, we're going after crawdads. We're hoping to catch about a thousand of them. I cannot wait, this should be an epic trap and boil guys. See you in a bit. All right guys, we got to our area here. So what we're gonna do, same as one of my previous videos, we've got this beautiful setup here. It's like a satellite dish style. We're gonna put the cat food right in there, toss it out there, leave it in about two feet of water and we're gonna retract these once we lay the last one we're gonna go back and collect them pull them we think we can get them because last time we got it before dark but this time i think we can actually get them way before dark well into the night probably until about midnight we're hoping this is gonna be an epic trap of a thousand of them so let me show you the next step of what we're gonna do to prepare before we throw them out there see you in a second all right so you saw a trap earlier really they come into this little pouch here we're gonna open it get them out and they're really easy to store back and store in, guys. So let me just get this out. Yeah, you just kind of open it, boom, it stretches out like that. It's good to go. Our next step, we're gonna get some cat food right into these little bags here that hold them and track them in. So we'll see you in a second. The next one on here is the cat food. We're gonna open them. You can go with anything like friskies, something simple, but catfish food really, really, really stinks. So we're gonna get that out. The little pouch I was talking about earlier. We untake, put it in these little wedding bags. You don't need much in here, really. The smell is so strong. I'm just gonna really just barely put any in here. So you take it in just like that. Tie up the bag a little bit, guys. We're gonna put it right back in here. Put it back in there, and uh, voila, it is ready to go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna toss it out there and show you guys how we do that. See you in a second. guys we got them all set out all across the shoreline here we're gonna now go and pull the first one and hope that we catch some already because that'll be a great sign to our 1k guys see you in a bit first we pull this one how much should this have in it realistically there's nothing in there then we're in the wrong spot so yeah all right nicholas do your job all right let's see guys if we can pull some let's go 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 oh yeah all right guys Oh, three. Oh, all right, wow. all right, guys. We got a nice little load oh, so far. A little... Nice little load. Oh yeah. Oh, oh there's a God. bunch. There's monsters in here right now. Man, these are bigger oh, than boy, the last. Check this out. Keep it handy. These are bigger than the last. Look at what we got. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Oh my. Wow. You're recording, Paul. Oh, yeah, guys, we got a big Man, these are big time. ones in this one. Big, big haul, fellas. I mean, there's going to be some good eating out of these claws tonight. <laughs> that was sick. We got a whole bunch in this one. Yes. This is a pretty deep one. Oh, yeah. Got him. All right, y'all. There's three more. Yes. There's three more. Yeah, that's a good one there. That was way out there. Oh. Oh, there's a bunch. Oh, there's a hole in that one. There's All right, guys. There's a few of that. All right, guys. Not too many. What did we get? About 10 so far? Oh, we got more than that. Oh, good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. One than 10, guys. I'll yeah, take it. this in so it's going to fly out. All right, Paul. I think Paul's pulling something. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what yeah. a haul. Nice work, Paul. Nice He's got some smaller ones in there. There's a bucket. Okay. Right. There's, I'm gonna about, count. there's at least 10. You pulled a good hole. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Gee. How many? Oh, eleven. eleven of them. Eleven of them. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, this ball's is pulling. Ball's pulling. Ball's pulling. Here we go. 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 That's okay. Oh, there's some hole. Oh, he's got a hole. He's got a hole. I think a bunch got out too because it got stuck on a rock. That's a huge one. Look at that yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some actual lobsters over here, dude. One, two, three, four. That's a huge one. Five, six, seven, eight. We got eight. All right. Eight on that one, dudes. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen, good lord. Sixteen. Sixty-five, sixty-six. That wasn't a bad haul at all. Wow, look at sixty-six, Paul. That's twenty-five we already had in there. All right, guys, wow. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Little midnight update almost. Uh, we're at about almost 300, right, Paul? Yep. We're not pulling as many as we do. There's a busy shoreline tonight, unfortunately. So we're going to keep it going. We're almost there. So let's see if we can end up with at least close to 1,000. I'm feeling good, guys. You know that. All right. Yeah, well, let's do another pull. Yep. Look at that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This has been a producer as well, guys. Oh, yeah. Damn, guys. This always has at least, at least 10. Yeah, it seems that way. God, dude, we gotta take some more strap knives and just put them right next to each other here. What do you think? No. We gotta be seven or eight. All right, guys, we're at about 420. Uh, we're gonna get to about another 80 and we're gonna have an epic 500 crawfish boil uh stay tuned we're almost to the end i'm being quiet because i don't want to wake up anybody but let's see how we finish it off with 500. all right here we go the producer guys the producer for 500 right here oh always produces and we got him guys that's our 500. Paul, if you do me the honor, sir. Yeah, we got 500, guys. I wonder if we should replace this one with one of those pull that's got food. Yeah. Oh, this is about it. All right, guys, we got 500 total. Paul is going to put it. the remaining of it in. We lost count a lot. We just look. That was almost half full. I mean, that's just about half a thousand right there. What an epic night. <laughs> what an epic night. Paul. Yeah. Good job, sir. The next step, take them home and purge them. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and we're going to get it together, prep it up, boil it, and eat it. See you in a bit. We had the most latest night. It took us about three hours to get home because part of the highway was closed for what 27 miles paul yeah i mean a detour at 2 a.m guys when we're all tired i gotta say it was rough for me because i was trying to nap and paul kept driving over bumpy roads shame on him but that's all right we've made it home we caught about 500 we fill this cooler up with water as you guys can see and we're purging them so we put this clean water in and there was a lot of dirty water to it. So what we're doing is emptying that first batch and putting more water in and just doing a cycle of about three and four. <clears throat> it's gonna take us a couple hours to purge these. This cool thing is this lake is so clean that it doesn't take long to purge, right Paul? It doesn't. So to purge these, you can either put salt in the water or milk in the water. Both of those make them cleanse themselves in the most humane way possible. So what we're gonna do is let this run, empty it, and we'll show you our next step because we got some delicious ingredients to put all this together. So see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so it is time to uh, 
sort them out. We did end up purging them. I think they're ready to go. So what we're gonna do now is sort the big ones that we're gonna cook in here. Some of the smaller ones are gonna be bagged up to be used as bait. We're gonna start the process. I'm gonna go through a time lapse as we sort these out so you guys don't have to watch it or you can just watch it pretty quickly. <laughs> Alright guys, we're in the next step of our process here. So what we got with this recipe is green bell peppers, a onion, some corn on the cob here, all to add to that flavor. That's all going to be complemented by the concentrated shrimp crab boil, which just adds that perfect flavor and turns them orange reddish. Along with that, we're going to put some seasoning, which is crawfish shrimp and crab boil seasoning. It's really good, adds a little bit of spice to it. And to add even more spice to that will be the cayenne pepper. So we're gonna mix all these, let the water boil a little bit for about 30 minutes. Then we're gonna dump all this in, we'll let the water boil for another 10 to 15 minutes with these ingredients in it. Then we're gonna dump these guys in and boil them for another 15 to 20 minutes. And this whole process is gonna be great. So I'm gonna cut all this up, you guys, and we'll see you when we're dumping all these ingredients in. All right, guys, it is hot in this kitchen. It's about 90 degrees outside, I think, so a beer, cold beer is definitely it, so cheers. What I got here is our vegetables we cut earlier with some crawdads that are ready to go. But what I want to point out, you guys, you want to get about six inches of water in these pans and then what you do is you leave it in there until it starts boiling, which you'll see, of course. Once it starts boiling, what you wanna do is you wanna toss the ingredients in. So what we have here is a pound of that crab bo crawfish boil and then we're gonna put. So we're gonna dump that in there. And another thing to that is the concentrate, which we're gonna do a cup of. So a cup of that, a pound of that, and that cayenne pepper over here. We're gonna do about how many tablespoons, Paul, with this? I got it measured out. There's like uh, less than a quarter cup. So once we do that, what we're gonna do is let it boil for another 20 minutes with all those ingredients on there, as well as with our corn, potato, which we forgot to mention earlier, green peppers and onion. And, and 20 minutes passes, you start dubbing the crawdads in there. And then how long do we about 20, uh, 15, 20 minutes once the crawdads are in. So yeah, 15 to 20 minutes and the crawdads will be ready to go. I hope that this is gonna come out delicious. I know it will. We'll see you guys then. It's been 15 minutes. Uh, I cannot take any more of this cayenne pepper choking me, guys. I cannot stop coffee. Fair warning, you will be choked up. These bad boys are ready to go. We've had the uh, the boil going for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now it's their time to exit the planet um, and become food. So we're gonna dump him in there and we're gonna leave it in there for an additional 17 to 22 minutes, guys. Let's see how these come out. Next time I see you guys will be our official eating and taste test. See you in a bit. All right, all right, all right. Finally, we have boiled over 400 crawdads we got some corn, potatoes, it's all soft. We got our water. And most importantly, our beer, Paul. It was a process, man. It and was. It's definitely worth it, though. It was worth it. I am going to chow down and see how uh, these taste. Let's find out together. Cheers. All right, guys. Here's a, a true taste test. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not 
feeling too good about the corn. Paul just had it. Oh. How does it make you feel? It's really hot. Do that scream you did earlier, have to. Oh man. Woo! Yeah. All right, uh, let's see. I'm gonna need more beer. Mm -hmm. I actually like it. Do you? Is it spicy? <laughs> it's full of flavor. <laughs> but it goes straight to your nose, down your lungs. And it burns. Oh my god, my mouth You're is right. on fire, dude. Oh my god, yes, you no. are right. Oh. All right. Well, let's see what the potato tastes like. So oh. I love the fact that we cooked it in these juices, you guys. Dude, this but the potato corn, is epic. The corn might be a little too much, as Paul said. Uh, yep. I have to agree. It tastes great, but just burns too much. Mm. The burn overtakes the potato. Oh my god. Yeah, the potato is epic, dude. Guys, the potato with these juices came out perfect, so. No, it did. It's perfect. And uh, last but not least, let me try this crawfish. Now, you guys, check this out. That's got some fat claws. Really simple to eat them. Just break the off. Bake the small one off. You can see already how much meat is going to come out of this. I like to use the fork. You can use your teeth. You're going to just break that right out. I, I stick the whole claw in my mouth and chew it apart. Yeah, so that's another way <laughs> to just get a lot more meat. There's some good meat in there. Oh, so clean because it comes out of a clean water. Mm. Uh, here's the tail. The tail is really fat on these things. I'm going to break it off. Mm. And then what you do is you crack the shell. Crack it. And then once you crack that shell, get the meat out or butcher it. I'm still trying to learn. This isn't really that easy, but the meat is really good. I mean, this whole thing is full of flavor. So get out, get you some, taste it. You guys will love it. Everything you cook it in and you put it together just comes out so well, so flavorful. So, you know, I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this making process. We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, Paul. Good times, man.